back with a bang. Ivanka Trump puts her long legs on show in a mini dress, smiling happily as she returns to work at the White House to watch President sign off on a STEM initiative she led. Ivanka Trump made a very chic return to the White House on Monday morning, stepping out in style in a short black mini dress, looking delighted to be back at home after spending much of the past week in New York City. The 35-year-old flashed a wide smile at the cameras as she left the Washington, D.C. home she shares with husband Jared Kushner, 36, and their three children, adding a touch of Hollywood glamour to her monochrome ensemble with a bright red lip. It is the first time that Ivanka has been seen at home since returning from her stay in the Big Apple, where she and Jared were both on hand to support her father, Donald Trump, as he made his first speech to the United Nations General Assembly and she certainly seemed keen to make a style statement on her first day back in the office, looking incredibly glamorous in her black and white smock style dress, from her own fashion line, which she paired with some matching monochrome polka dot sling back heels. She accessorized with a pair of white flower shaped earrings, and a beaming smile, no doubt thrilled to be back at home after a busy week away. After leaving her home, Ivanka headed to the White House and she was by her father's side when he signed a memorandum on increasing access to science, technology, engineering and mathematics STEM education in the Oval Office. The memorandum, which was spearheaded by Ivanka, directs the Education Department to invest in a minimum of $200 million in grant funding per year to expand STEM and computer education in schools. Before the President signed the memorandum, Ivanka spoke a few words in front of the group which included Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos and Representative Virginia Fox. During her stay in her former hometown, Ivanka also found time to fit in several appointments of her own, attending a few meetings, and taping an interview for Drive. Yaws in which she discussed her ongoing role within her father's administration, as well as her life in D.C. Ivanka looked overjoyed as she arrived on set for the sit-down with Mem 57, exclaiming, it's so good to be here. Hi everyone. As the audience cheered. She added, and it is very nice to be back in New York. However, despite her apparent excitement at being back in the city where she has spent much of her life, Ivan the insisted during the interview that she has no desire to return to New York, explaining that she and her family are loving their new life in Washington. The host immediately asked her about her new life in D.C where she has moved with her husband Jared, and their children Arabella, 6, Joseph, 3, and Theodore, 1. How has the family adapted to it? Mem asked. Actually very well, Ivanka replied. My kids are happy, which as a parent means I'm very happy. And that would be sort of a gating threshold issue for me if they weren't adjusting well. But thankfully they're loving their lives down there. We live in the house which growing up in New York City and always having lived in apartment buildings we had never done before. So, we have a little backyard and a swing set. They love their schools, their beautiful parks. I get to take them to really explore Washington, D.C., and all the different museums and the monuments. So it's been an incredible adventure for the last eight months for them, and they're very much enjoying it. Ivanka also opened up about a number of other very personal topics, revealing for the first time during the interview that she suffered from postpartum depression after the births of all three of her kids. With each of my three children I had some level of postpartum, she said. After drive, Yaz asked her to clarify her statement, she confirmed that she had suffered from postpartum depression. It was a very challenging emotional time for me because I felt like I was not living up to my potential as a parent or as an entrepreneur and as an executive, she said. And I had had such easy pregnancies that in some way the juxtaposition hit me even harder. Ivanka admitted during the interview that she didn't realize she was willing to discuss something as personal as postpartum depression, until she had been asked the question. It's incredibly important and look I consider myself a very hard charging person, I am ambitious, I'm passionate. I'm driven, but this is something that affects parents all over the country," she said. Ivanka also spoke out about her role within the White House, revealing that she doesn't believe it is her obligation to moderate her father, as she insists her critics misunderstand her role as a White House senior advisor, addressing the expectation that she should be a moderating force in President Trump's administration.
I think my role and a role of anyone who works for the President of the United States, their role is to inform, advise and then ultimately execute, she said. So I am not a decision maker. I have my views and I share them candidly, and as a daughter I have the latitude to do that, she continued. But I also respect the process that my father is now president, and the American people elected him based on his agenda. My job isn't to undermine that agenda. Ivanka, along with husband Jared, also had the opportunity while in New York to meet her newborn nephew Luke, the first child of her brother Eric and his wife Lara. Eric and Lara welcomed Eric Luke Trump into the world two weeks ago, however Ivanka and Jared were in Washington, D.C. at the time and weren't there to see the tiny tot. The proud aunt took to Instagram to share a photo of herself holding the newborn. Cuddling my little nephew Luke. My favorite part of an incredible date, she added. Ivanka also sparked controversy during her stay when she was revealed to have taken an SUV to travel less than two blocks from her apartment on Park Avenue to the Regency Hotel, where she is thought to have met with Queen Maxima of the Netherlands. The trip, which takes just two minutes on foot, was a whopping 20 minutes long thanks to the city's one-way systems, and the additional traffic caused high road closures for the ungeneral assembly. Ivanka then returned to her apartment after the meeting in the same SUV with the trip taking just 10 minutes on this occasion.